So yeah, this, this is, is one asterisk. It contains a SOC, which is Marmalade based SOC. Eight SOCs in here. Yeah, eight SOC inside here. And what is this? What are these uh, ports? Four hard drive, two and a half SSD. And two and a half SATA SSD. Okay, two two and a half size, like some yeah, hard disk two and here. And yes. Or SSD or hard disk. SSD, SSD. SSD. both hard disk can support, but we don't suggest user to use uh, uh, normal uh, hard drive. We yeah. suggest user to use SSD to reduce the the power consumption and also the vibration. So hard disk here. Hard disk here, yes. And stuff here. Like yes. Ball. Motherboard. Yes, motherboard here. Motherboard with eight SOC. Eight SOC, yes. And what else? And we have two packet processor, and we have PCI switch, yeah. and we have NAS chips inside. NAS chips? Yes. And what connects on the back? What's going on over here? We have 10 gig connection. Uh, actually, you cannot see from here because because the control unit is with the uh, the system. We use two control units for eight asterisk spread. So what do you call it? Asterix. Asterix. This is asterisk. Asterisk. Yes. Is that the standard word or is that the name you give it? Yeah, we the name we gave it. Okay. Yeah, it's and an internal name. What is that? Uh, it's a, a power connected, uh, I mean a connected to the power distribution board. Yeah. And uh, electronics. Yeah, yeah, it's just the yeah. vent for, for airflow. Vent, vent for airflow? Yes. So this is data, this is power? Yeah, and this is power, this is data, and control, remote control. Yeah. Is this, yeah. this is very standard uh, yes, it's size? A, and it's okay. our, our system standard size. We have four products we built with this form vector. So eight quad cores in here? Yes. So it means... Uh, four times eight cores, right? Yes. What is that? Uh, 32 cores. 32 cores in here. Yes. And uh, here you are showing, what is uh, that? I'm what showing a asterisk. Can you ship together? Yes. So it's hot swappable? Yes. yes. You see? Is this a prototype or is it final kind of? Is it uh, it's still in engineering developing state but uh, almost final. We are uh, planning to launch this product in this year Q4. Q4? Yes. So it means people can call you an order and they will get it very soon, right? In yes, August? very soon. August already? Yeah. August, uh, I think we can start start to ship some sample for yeah. early, early evaluation. If people want to buy a million of them, you can do them? Do them in... In the starting from Q4 or next year Q1, yeah. millions, I think, maybe Q1. Where does it get yeah. made? Where? In China? Where? Uh, design in Taiwan, but manufacturing will be in China, yes. Shenzhen or somewhere else? Uh, in, China? in Guangdong. Guangdong. Foshan. And that's already uh, the, the factory for Mitak? Yes. Yeah. That's uh, our MyTech My My uh, server factory. So you were saying eight of those here? Yes. 8 times 8? Yes. So it's that's 64 SOC, 256 cores per system. And what is that? What do you call this 8? Is that a standard size? Yeah, it, each one we call it asterisk. The whole system we call it get a fix. Get a fix? Yes, get a fix. And what's it called? Uh, is this size a standard for server industry? Uh, this is a standard survey for you. For you? Yes, standard for your server height. And this is 600 millimeter depth. 600 millimeter? Yes, yes. 600 millimeter depth. So how much heat is coming out of the back? Um, we only use uh, 1 plus 1, 850 watt power supply. So you can see, what you this is a power supply unit. Yeah. There are two power here. I mean, there are two 850 watt power supply core there. They are one plus one redundant. One plus one, so one can fail, the other one is Yes, fail. yes. And Our design is, they, they are internal redundant. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and this is a two control unit, so you can see there are 16 tanky connection to outside wall. You can connect this, yeah, 16. Four, 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 four. Yeah. What is those two? These two are management core. Management core. 
the moment you meant purpose. And what is going on here? Oh no, no, it's just it's, 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 yeah. It's, uh, uh, so how many of those could you pile on top of each other? Sorry? How many for use can normally be in a server on top of each other? Um, this can be our, very high like this? Yes, our design is for REC, for 4DU uh, REC, we will have 8 Gita GitHub system, so you, uh, you will have uh, uh, 8 Gita and uh, we suggest to have 2 switch one on top, one in middle, so the, the switch connection, I mean the network connection will be uh, shorter. And you can also uh, equip this way with two UJ bar storage. Uh, maybe you can equip with two, two UJ bar storage. So this rack is the perfect total data center because you can, can contain switch, contains computing power, contains storage, all the data center need. So you were saying uh, one rack? Yeah, one rack. Is eight? Uh, because they are 40 to you, right? So if I equip with eight data fix, it will occupy 30 to you. So it left you still have 10 you. So we suggest you uh, equip with the uh, one uh, to you uh, uh, switch for the older uh, uh, network connection. And you can have two to you J board. So what is J board? Table means this uh, stor storage yeah. storage unit, so you can the the rack will have the storage. Okay, so can, there's SSD and the storage. Yeah, the different? system is already SSD, and you can have a three and a half hard disk in the storage unit. So the whole rack will have more storage can can be installed. So how many do you have in a data center? Um, I don't know. Depends how many racks they have. Yeah. But how many racks are there in the data center normally? Um. The data center, I think, like a big one, uh, uh, thousands. Uh, thousands, thousands of racks. Yes. In theory, you could have thousands times times the uh, data phase, then it will be a huge computing power, and huge storage over there. So, did you say how many SOCs per rack? Um, the forty-two. Two, two hundred fifty-six times eight is about two two thousand cores. In one rack, in one and you rack. can have a thousand of them. So you can have yes. two million cores in the data yes. center. Yes. A million cores and delivery starting in August. In, no, in Q4. Na. Q4. Sample just in, in, in August. August yes. And full production Q4. Yes. So in theory, if there's a big customer very interested, they'll contact and maybe Q4 they can get a million in the data center if they yes. want. Yes. If but in like. theory, they will start by testing first, right? In yes. Months yes. later. Yes. Maybe so they to order I more. think they usually they will start in testing with our system, maybe one quarter, two quarters. So I, I don't yeah. expect that the, the room will be very soon in Q4, but from next year, if they already finish the testing, I think that is possible. What, they, what do you do? At the company. Oh, I, I'm the program management in my tech. So, uh, this is your product? Yes, my product. And we have architect Gary. We work yeah. in together for this product more than one year. Yeah. So you tested everything. Everything is working. Yeah, everything is working now. Great. Yeah. Let us know, Randy. Okay. This is show, this show you the system. I don't know. How many nodes it it is working? So so you can see. Uh, green one and, and red one. The green one is the uh, actual working node now. I mean, yeah. the, per, this node means each SOC. Yeah. yeah, this means each SOC. And if you change to this, this code, goals, it's a, a very popular uh, application, goals. So it, 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 it can show you the real hardware. Uh, so each, 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 each branch means each branch. And each gray has eight SOC. Mm -hmm. So each SOC consider a node. So we can see there are, there are 64 nodes mm -hmm. here, which means 64 SOC. And which SOC is working? We just show you that. How, how does it measure that? Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, goes uh, this this uh, this application their function. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think many people should, should know that. And, uh, Change your screen. So how do you connect to it? You connect oh, uh, by Ethernet. Yeah. It's Ethernet. And what is that showing? 
Well, this is uh, showing how many requests from different nodes sent out from this side and uh, how many uh, response handled by uh, this system. Oh, traffic generated by system itself and also handled by other nodes. And the both sides uh, uh, means uh, the request number. The small dot means small request. And Larger balls means they are not of request at the same ball. And this this is uh, uh, show you how you handle already response. So the number means different return pass, different request. And this this uh, this count means how many ball it handles. So it's not the request it handles. So request is larger than this number. So is this something you would test on any? Uh, yeah, you can test it now. Any system use this uh, yeah. loss take take you this this program. You can test. It's a very general program. So when people install this on a let's say Intel Xeon, how yeah. does it compare? Um, how does it, how does it compare? I, I I do not do the uh, compare uh, by myself, so I, I cannot I cannot tell. Yeah. So this this show you how the system currently is wrong in wrong. And handling the the, the, the traffic we, the requests that we generate and there are different kind of uh, requests CSS script and images and other decision requests so different kind you can see there are every kind of request they are handling